G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy for this week's episode of uh, my Game Day Squad. If you're not familiar with it already, Game Day Squad is a new alternative to AFL Fantasy and Super Coach, which involves opening footy cards, getting the players, and putting them in your team to score some points. So if you haven't joined in the action, make sure you click the link below. It's the top link in the description, and you can join the True Footy League with the invite code below it. It's completely free to play, and we've got about 130 people in the competition already, and we want to see that number grow. So make sure you join in all the action but in today's video it's going to be a short and sweet one i have got two packs to open which i think totals to about 12 players that i can use to improve my squad so let's get straight into the action so the two packs that i've got are a, a, a nine player common pack and a three player common pack because i'm investing in my squad to try and improve it i'm hoping for a silver or gold nick day cost how good would that be obviously it's a bit of a lottery in the last video um, i got quite a few stinkers and players that haven't played a game or are unlikely to play a game but i did net a silver liam duggan and his average was about 145 so i'm pretty happy with that so i'm hoping to do even better in today's video so in the common packs, none of the players are going to be bronze, which means that they just score their normal score, but there's a chance there'll be silver, gold, or platinum. Silver, you get 1.1 times that player's score. Gold, you get 1.2, and so on and so forth. So there's a chance we're going to get some good players out of this. Let's open the nine player pack. All right, so this should open up and give us nine players. I do love this part. It's The cool thing about this is you sort of get the, uh, oh, this is the three player pack first, sorry. It sort of gives you that same sort of rush you used to have when you'd open footy pack cards as a kid, or maybe some people still do. Uh, it's good fun, but let's see who we've got in this pack. The first player is McKenty. I think I've already got it, McEntee, McKenty. I think they say McKenty, but I kind of read that as McEntee. Either way, he's a, a good young prospect for Port Adelaide, so that's probably gonna be a longer term one. He's not gonna crack my team anytime soon, uh, but perhaps in a couple of years. Let's see who else we've got. Uh, ben Patton, Peyton, Patton. See, again, I read that as Patton, but it could be Peyton. I do know who he is, um, and it's probably not going to be a great fantasy selection. So, so far, uh, a couple of duds. Noah Long. Ooh, I do like that one. Uh, the good thing about Noah Long is at the moment, he is cracking the side as a small um, mercurial forward, I guess, if you consider that goal of the week nomination he got last week. Um, but I do think this kid has potential to become a midfielder. So I do quite like that. Uh, let's see exactly what their scores are and then we'll go back and open up the other packs. So this is McKenzie. His uh, scores have been around the 40 to 60 mark, uh, a couple of 20s in there again. So probably a longer term option. He is a forward and that does help because I need some forwards. So hopefully he comes good. Noah Long again, averaging 55, not too crash hot, but he did play really well against St Kilda and scored a 94. So that kind of makes it worthwhile. Cool. All right, here we are for the nine player pack. This is the real doozy. So hopefully we get some real reward here. I'm pretty happy with Noah Long, uh, but that's again, like I said, a longer term one. So hopefully we get someone to improve my squad in here and now. Okay, so here we go. This is nine players to unpack. Let's see how we go. Matthew Rao in silver. That could potentially be quite good. He is quite an inside player. Doesn't rack up a lot of outside ball, which might hurt his fantasy scores, but we'll go back and review the, the averages of each player. But either way, that's a pretty good start. Will Powell, well, that's another good one. I hope he's a defender. Um, it'd be great if he was listed as a forward in this because I really need a forward. But again, I'm pretty happy with that. Rowell and Powell. Uh, that is uh, Lockie Jones, Hayden Young's brother. Uh, again, probably not going to be a great fantasy option. So that one's probably a swing and a miss. Sam Draper in silver. I'm pretty happy with my rock options but that's not a bad one uh who else we got camden mcintosh in gold probably not gonna uh cut the mustard for me there jasper fletcher in gold uh that yeah, i've got him as a forward already in bronze uh, i wonder if this is the midfield version or not either way that's actually a pretty good one because he i feel like he could be an, an accumulator in the future and be a good fantasy player bailey fritch in gold he's a forward um he's going to be pricey and he's injured at the moment but i will go back and review his average see how he goes windhaker again another promising young player again probably Probably one for the future. Again, not really going to crack my team anytime soon, I wouldn't have thought. And then finally, Jaden Hunt in gold. Uh, he's had some big games this year, actually, but probably not consistent enough to really warrant a spot in my team. But let's go back and look at these guys. So down here, Kendon McIntosh averages 85 for a gold player and the salary cap I'd be giving up. Uh, I don't know if I'm too keen on that one. Jasper Fletcher as a forward, that's a pretty good one. So as a forward, he scored 104 as a gold player. Um, again, probably more of a longer term one. This time next year, he might be getting 120s, 130s as a gold player because uh, I think he has that potential. Jaden Hunt's 
averages is 107 in gold. Um, probably again, not enough to justify it because I've got a pretty strong back line. Bailey Fridge averages 87. He's put up some big games, um, but again, probably not a best 22 player for me. Oh, here we go. Matthew Rouse averages 120.6 in silver. That's actually better than I was expecting. So that's probably a win here to get a silver Matt Rau. Again, he might be a player to rotate through based on salary cap pressure because I've got some really good players. I've got a platinum Clayton Oliver to consider as well in this, but generally speaking, um, that is a pretty good win. That's probably the biggest win of this video. So there you have it, guys. I've unpacked 12 players. I've got a couple of good prospects there for the future in Noah Long in silver, Jasper Fletcher in gold, and Matthew Rowell in silver is probably the biggest one that helps me in the short term. But as always, guys, I welcome your input. Let me know in the comments how your team's going. Uh, what are some great wins that you've had on this game so far. Make sure if you haven't already, if you're just sort of browsing at the moment and you want to get stuck in, by all means, click the link in the description and uh, it's completely free to set up your own team. It's really good fun. I play this all the time and uh, regardless of the fact that I am making videos for Game Day Squad now, I would genuinely be playing this over fantasy. In fact, I haven't really opened my fantasy team, you know, since the start of the year. But regardless, hope you're enjoying the content, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.